Hey everyone, my name is Brandon and uh, just wanted to share with you today two things that we've started doing at our church that I believe has worked pretty well. And uh, and so first thing is dealing with connect cards. Um, at our church, before we started doing this, we had the bulletins with a little perforated edge. Uh, we just asked guests to fill those out and turn them into the offering bucket as it comes by. And to be honest with you, we just really never had hardly anybody fill those out. And uh, so what we did was um, we got these plastic tables. They're basically cocktail tables from Amazon. And I'll put the link uh, with the video. Uh, but it's basically just a cocktail table. And we got uh, the black spandex tablecloths for them. And uh, we had we got two of them, and we put one next to each exit going out the back, and uh, and so on there, uh, we put our little cup, which is our gift to our first time guest, and uh, it's got some starburst in it, and uh, and we basically just wrapped it up in cellophane, and uh, and then we set our connect card right in front of it, along with our church pin, and uh, and for whatever reason, it has worked so well for us. Uh, p if people in our church have helped us get them to our guests and uh, they fill it out they get a gift and uh, and then we get them turned in and that has worked so well like i said uh, we've had so many more turned in uh, i want to say last year we may have maybe 10 or 12 turned in the whole entire year and i know we probably had maybe 20 already turned in in the first three months that we were doing it and uh, and so maybe if you struggle or if your church struggles with getting in uh, connect cards or guest uh, information cards uh, from people that are first-time guests uh, maybe that's something you can consider just putting a table a nice table with uh, a nice cover on it and putting a gift for your guests back there and then just put an information card um, and, and it's just worked so well for us and so maybe that's something you can can, can consider um, the other thing that we've done and we just kind of started it right before we had to stop having services due to the coronavirus thing um, but we created this little box that basically just says startup kit and uh, this startup kit is for um, for people that have accepted Jesus for the first time or the first time in a long time um, and you know a lot of times people don't know how to act or how what to do once they've accepted Jesus they go home and they're, they're put back in tough situations and uh, maybe they don't ever come back to church but we want to give them something before they leave that can kind of help with everything. And so basically I got these white boxes in a pack of 50 from Amazon. And uh, I had uh, these labels made as basically a sticker, uh, a big sticker from uh, Webster Printing in Minden. Uh, they, they do a lot of stuff for us and they do a great job. Uh, but I designed the sticker and then just had it uh, uh, delivered to me and then I put them on the box uh, to kind of brand it a little bit. Uh, but inside the box, we have a little booklet that we made and, uh, and basically it has a letter and some information from our pastor. Uh, and then it's basically, uh, okay, I've accepted Jesus, now what? And, uh, and it just goes through everything. It gives a few little scriptures and it's in color. And, uh, and it seems to be a, a great little tool that we have. We also have some information about our church. We also have, um, you know, how prayer time and journaling should go. And, um, and so uh, it's gone really well so far. We haven't given out that many. Like I said, um, it, it's one of those things that we started right before uh, the coronavirus uh, had really flared up. And, and so we haven't tried it a lot yet. And so, but any, anyone that accepts Jesus for the first time or rededicates their life, uh, we're going to give them this box before they leave. And, uh, and we hope it'll be a great uh, tool for them to use. Uh, also in there, we have a little devotional book. It's called Following Christ by Randy Hurst. And uh, we put that in there as well. And then just in case they don't have a Bible, we get have a little uh, NLT gift Bible uh, that we purchase. And you can buy these online in bulk. And uh, I believe they're like 3 or $4 uh, each. And, uh, and so we buy a full case of them. And we stick that in there along with a highlighter and a pen. And, uh, and so uh, hopefully it goes well. But if this is something that maybe you can get an idea to off, off of, um, then maybe that's something that you can consider for people that uh, accept Jesus for the first time or rededicate their life. Mm -hmm.